Hi, this is Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to test the defrost thermostat on your refrigerator to see if it is good or bad. The defrost thermostat is a bimetal thermostat that opens during the automatic defrost cycle to terminate the defrost cycle and keeping the freezer from getting too hot. The defrost thermostat is usually clipped onto the evaporator coil, which is most commonly located behind the back panel in the freezer section of the refrigerator. If you take a look at the side of the defrost thermostat, you should see some letters and numbers on the side that look like this. L55-35F. The first number next to the L is the limit temperature that the thermostat opens up at. In this case, it is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The second number on the thermostat is often confused and thought of as the closing temperature. This is not correct. To get the closing temperature of the thermostat, you have to take the first number minus the second number to get the closing temperature. So in this case we would take 55 minus 35 to get a closing temperature of 20 degrees Fahrenheit on this thermostat. The last letter will either be an F or a C to signify Fahrenheit or Celsius for the temperature rating. Here is another defrost thermostat. This one has a plastic housing instead of metal. This defrost thermostat has a L51-36F engraved into the side. So this thermostat has an opening temperature of 51 degrees Fahrenheit and a closing temperature of 15 degrees Fahrenheit. To test your defrost thermostat, you will need to first unplug the refrigerator and disconnect the wires to the thermostat. On some refrigerators, you will have to cut the wires to the thermostat if there are not any wire plugs or wire connectors to disconnect. While the defrost thermostat is colder than the thermostat's closing temperature, you will need to test the thermostat for continuity. To get the thermostat cold enough, you will need to put the defrost thermostat in a working freezer. Putting most thermostats in ice water will not get the thermostat cold enough to close. Using a multimeter, set the meter to the continuity setting. Place one of each of the meter's probes on each of the defrost thermostat's wires. While the thermostat is colder than the closing temperature, the thermostat should have continuity and the meter will produce an audible beeping noise. In this case, this thermostat should be 20 degrees Fahrenheit or colder to have continuity. While the thermostat is warmer than the opening temperature, the thermostat should not have continuity and the meter will not make any noise. In this case, this thermostat should not have continuity if it is 55 degrees Fahrenheit or warmer. If the thermostat does not pass these continuity tests, then you should replace the defrost thermostat. If the defrost thermostat passes these continuity tests, then we recommend to do a visual inspection of the defrost thermostat. Often when the defrost thermostat fails, the top of the thermostat will be raised up. Here is what a bad defrost thermostat looks like compared to a new defrost thermostat. The thermostat on the left is a bad defrost thermostat and you can see how the top is raised up and some of the blue color from the inside is showing. The thermostat on the right is a good thermostat and the top is not raised up at all. What causes this to happen over time is small amounts of frost and moisture work their way into the thermostat. This moisture freezes and expands and pushes the top up. Each defrost cycle, more and more moisture works its way inside until the moisture causes the thermostat to no longer make a connection and the refrigerator then stops going through the automatic defrost cycle. If your defrost thermostat visually is raised up like this, then you should replace the thermostat even if it passes the continuity test. If you found that you have a bad defrost thermostat and you need to purchase a new one, you can order one from our online store by clicking the link in the description below. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more appliance repair videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below. You can also stay up to date by liking us on our Facebook page and following us on Twitter.